They met at the movies when they were 17. He was a film critic and she gave him a free pass. Now, on the eve of their 39th wedding anniversary, the Lucas's passion for film has inspired a major Kickstarter campaign. A slew of awards to match a stack of remotes. Film critic Tim Lucas estimates that he's seen more than 15,000 movies. Many, if not most, in his Price Hill home, sitting on this couch. My favorite movie varies, uh, I would say most days, it's Once Upon a Time in the West. <laughs> if you're not familiar, don't worry, neither am I. Lucas built his career on critiquing a genre of film known as fantastic cinema. It's fantasy, it's horror, it's science fiction, it's uh, spaghetti westerns which have an operatic dimension, it's uh, film noir, detective stories that have a lot of oppressive atmosphere. In 1990, his wife Donna suggested expanding his columns. With the help of friends, Video Watchdog the magazine was born. It just sort of happened almost despite ourselves. This is our first issue, and it was basically almost printed on cardboard, the wrong stock and everything. It was, it was cut weirdly and everything. The couple recently released their 175th issue. 176 is due out soon. Among their subscribers, Directors Quentin Tarantino and Martin Scorsese. I love it. I think anybody who looks at the pages will find out how exciting it is. Along with printing the paper version, they now put the magazine online. However, they love to make their archive available digitally on Apple and Android devices. To do that, they launched a Kickstarter campaign. We have a vision of how this digital publication can grow beyond um, simply putting a PDF file of the magazine uh, online. So far, they've raised about 30000 of their nearly $150,000 goal. The campaign ends December 23rd on their 39th wedding anniversary. We know we're, we're venturing into new territory and we're excited to see where it goes. That magazine is designed, published, and shipped out of the Lucas's Price Hill home. And if they reach their Kickstarter goal, they will archive about 14,000 pages worth of material. That is cool.